Welcome back, everybody. Um, this is Rachel again. <laughs> from stellar intro, super nailed it. He likes to. I said point you're good at it. You said oh, tab. Uh, tab. You, you said tab. tell you when you're good at things, and, and so Failed I am. Failed at sitting. <laughs> Whoa! How do you? How do you do? That's what that person who in the last episode Shelf was bastard. slumped over the over the chair. Yeah. They feel Whoa. feculent. What does that mean? I don't know. Do you know? I don't. I mean, Why would I you ask wouldn't if ask I knew? If you did, would you? <laughs> Nick is looking up. Oh I, shit! I have feculent. to know what feculent means. Leave a comment if you know what feculent means. But we will have already looked it up by then. Yeah. So your comments are usually usually <laughs> usual. Excuse me. Show yourself. Um. Apparently, feculent means of or containing dirt, sediment, or waste matter. Oh. So. Kind of just tapping the keyboard at this point now. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, shit, man. <laughs> he was shitting, man. <laughs> he was pooping and crying. Video game Just like humor. Nick does. Oh, no. Don't tell people. <laughs> don't, don't let them know about my bathroom shame. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've talked about bathroom shame on this series before. <laughs> I think uh, we've had the whole conversation about... Our secret. Oh, tab. Oh, oh God. It's so hard to talk Damn and then it. yell tab at the same time. <laughs> you and I have talked about our bathroom uh, chain? On, chain? This, chain? On, on this series. Like oh. one of the first episodes we talked Tell about. Tell me about, about that. No, we already have. <laughs> Are you trying to make a joke at my expense <laughs> and the audience's expense? Well, I honestly don't remember talking about it. It's because you hit your head, which but we've also talked also, about. Yes. <laughs> All right. Um, Sorry, guys. <laughs> You're so proud. <laughs> Don't be so proud. Of, I can be proud. Of seeing, oh, okay. I can be Good proud job. of things. Good job. You, you can. You can wear a skin tight leotard too. You're emotionally and then, abusive. And then you can <laughs> say, "Watch out for my Comment body rolls." Comment if you think. <laughs> oh, rugged good looks, X. Emo emotionally abusive. Uh, I mean, everyone knows that I am. They've, they've heard me talk to Joe, too. <laughs> that's true. Um, Pass me my love. Oh, that's good. Um, scariest thing that you've ever done in your life? Scariest thing that I've ever... D oh. Oh. No bleak. No bleak. <laughs> scariest thing that I've ever takes, done uh, in my no life. Um, these, these words take like, the impact out of this guy a little bit. Chosen to do? Or no, no, no. Any any element that you choose to interpret the question. I mean, you can you can say that you chose um, to do it or that you were forced into it, but it was still scary and you did it. I had a bunch of like mid '90s equivalent of bros get out of a pickup truck with baseball bats. Oh and yeah, you've told me about this. Chase my friends and I around. Yeah. That was kind of scary. That's scary. So running from them would be the thing you've done, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> like, trying to convince them not to hit us with baseball bats. Jeez. Like and it was, to just be reasonable. I thought you just um, ran. I didn't know that part of the story. No. We, I mean, there wasn't anywhere for us to go, really. We were in a big open field in the one building that we tried to get to. The doors were locked. Oh, so. my God. Yeah. No, we, they punched my friend in the head and eventually just went away. Jesus. Yeah. Did they express a reason? Well, yeah, they're, I mean, they felt that they had a reason. Um, at the time, uh, my friend, uh, it, this again was, you know, mid 90s. I, I don't know if that's like proto goth or actual goth at that point. I didn't have a, a crowd really. Um, uh -huh. But uh, she and her boyfriend, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> she and her boyfriend were all gothed up with mohawks and the whatnot and the makeup. Mohawks and the whatnot. And um That is seriously. They were upsetting. uh we were walking down the street and I I didn't you know, I was jeans and t shirts, yeah. but I was friends with them. Um and uh we were walking oh, down see, the street. Look at their Shit. arms. I know. And, uh, this truck rode by, and, uh, this guy yelled Tab. something rude 
out the window at my friend about her being like an ugly bitch or something like that. Which is just a weird, like, why does that happen in the first place? Yeah. I, like, I can't imagine a crowd of people. Were they drunk? No. They were just, um, you know, like, I can't. normal looking teenage boys or maybe early, probably early 20s I I boys. I can't figure that out. Um, so anyway, they yelled something rude at my friend, and her boyfriend flicked them off. And then, um, they turned their truck around and, uh, came back and all proceeded to get out of... Are you not... Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm playing the game anymore. I'm reliving my Trauma, biggest traumatic. fear. Yeah. God, sorry. Yeah. I'm trying to remember how the story goes. Yeah. Tab. Um... Um, but yeah, they, uh, it was like, kind of like watching bros get out of a clown car. It was really weird. There were a lot of them in there, and they all had baseball bats, and they started chasing so us. So fucking weird. God, I just can't imagine that scenario. The, I, there was a weird time, I know I've told you this story before, but where I was walking home from middle school one day, and I saw the same two guys in a white truck mm -hmm. passed by me, like a white pickup, mm -hmm. passed by me multiple times and they were clearly like looking at me. And the most probable outcome of this is a tab. They were probably just like checking to see if I was someone they knew, like, is mm -hmm. that the guy or is, is that such and such? You know, who knows? But it totally creeped me out. And I, I immediately diverted my path and went instead um, to my aunt's house because I knew where she kept yeah, the spare key outside. Yeah, I do remember you talking about this. Um, and it was closer than going home. Um, and I hid inside and I watched them pass by again from her window, like peeking through the blinds. Mm -hmm. And then I waited a while. They eventually left. Um, and I left and locked up. But... And I don't think I ever even told anyone that story, like, in my family. I think because I was just, like, worried that I was overreacting. But why wouldn't you tell them still? Because, uh, like, how well, old were you? I was in middle school, so I probably, like... How old are you in middle school? I was probably at 11 or 12, yeah. maybe? Um, 11, probably. Huh. And, uh... It just... I don't know. I just, like... I think also maybe I I relished my freedom being able to walk home every day and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, that and makes sense. And I didn't want to like risk that probably, but it was super weird, and I always like will always wonder what that was about. And it was enough to scare me that I ran, you know, into my aunt's house, which probably wasn't even the smartest thing to do because it's not like I couldn't have gotten to like a store somewhere nearby and gone in there. Right. My aunt's house, meanwhile, is like the door to it is not visible from the road, so like. If they saw me go there, then getting to the door would be easy. Or was. She doesn't live but in the house But presumably you could have called the police or whatever from the inside. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but it's still, like, you know... I don't know. It wasn't even the smartest thing to do. Right. <laughs> like, it is, it it's a scary situation. I've been, I've been followed while walking a couple of times. It was yeah, when I was I older. You told me. Yeah, you told me about that one, too. And, uh, and nothing happened. I've been, I've been very lucky. Yeah. Um, it was just creepy. I just can't imagine the extreme jump from, like, where I was, and I can still kind of write it off as, they were probably just looking for someone or whatever, mm -hmm. to you actually having an encounter like that where somebody was just violent and hateful. Yeah, I for mean, no I, I felt reason. I feel kind of bad about it because at that point I was just trying to say whatever to get them to like go away, but I was like, okay, you guys proved your point, uh, you know, you guys. You're the big guys, and well, sorry yeah, I we mean, flipped you, you off or something. Whatever you, you know, say some doesn't even matter as long as you're trying to get out of that situation. Yeah. So, yeah. Phew. I wish I had what? the violent streak I have now. <laughs> you would not even. Oh, Three. God. Uh -huh. There's numbers. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I guess we should finish this boss fight. Yeah, it looks like it won't take that long. Oh, fuck. We'll, we'll finish this boss fight and try to end the episode on a happier note than these <laughs> strange memories. Oh, the cat yes. is trying to go Hi, on your Katie. shoulder. <laughs> there we go. Uh, let's, um, 
Yeah. Way to, way to bring do us we, all down, Nick. Where do we go from here? Hey, what's your favorite movie? My favorite movie is Harold and Maude. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it a, it's a real joy ride. Uh, <laughs> it's great. It's a great movie. Yeah. You, you do tend to like sad things in life. It's not even this, you know, because it's sad. It's a very life-affirming movie. Mm. Okay. Okay. It really is. But I, you I do I like sad feel things. That way. Sometimes. General rule. Yes. Yeah, you know. Not as much as I like, um, you know, like horror movies and oh, well, what's oh, happening there. Blocking. He was blocking. Get him. Nice. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna be able to. This is fine. This is everything is fine. Everything oh, is good. good. Famous last words. <laughs> <sighs> Worst case scenario, we just have to, you know, click continue. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> Oh, one of his eyes is gone. Oh, it's great. Scratch! Alright, we're taking a bath. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that's not quite right. Oh. Well, oh. Uh, oh, there he goes. No. Alright, pause as soon as it gives you the opportunity. Okay. And... Oh, oh, oh god, oh, he's oh, back! Oh, jeez! <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the I train! Mean, uh, never mind that. The 666 train? Yeah. That, that, that makes you happy? <laughs> it does. As long as we can end this episode <laughs> on a happy note. It's at the 666 train makes Rachel happy. There was, a, there was a guy in the grocery store the other day when I was buying a, a drink. It was at the gas station. And um, his food that he was buying rang up 666. And mm -hmm. he was concerned. This is oh, really no. this is really big guy. And he was like, 666? That's the mark of the beast. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to try really hard not to laugh at him. Why would he? Okay. That's the mark of the beast. All right, well, next time on Instant Replay Live, more demon groceries? Yay. I think it was chicken. <laughs> Bye. Bow wow. <laughs> really kick it. Kick Yo, it. plans, free stroke, Sonic Golf. Sonic Golf?